what it is! Welcome back to the vlog. So today, I'm going to show you guys how we decided to sound deaden and insulate our cab. So let's go ahead and get into it. I found some stuff on Amazon that's supposed to be kind of the equivalent to Dynamat. It's uh, from Noiko, and I'll go ahead and put a picture up right here. So we got this from Amazon, and I'm pretty impressed with it so far. I, I think that we were able to lay it on really well. What we decided to do is instead of ordering the little roller to apply it, we just got some screwdrivers, the bottom of screwdrivers, and we got some sockets, and you just kind of rolled it on that way. But the reason that I decided to go this route instead of going with one from like Home Depot or, or something like that, from what I understand, Noiko stuff is not supposed to make your truck smell like asphalt when it gets really hot. I've just heard some stuff on forums from guys with their concerns about you know some of the cheaper alternatives you can get from like Home Depot, etc. It, either if you apply it on top of the cab and it gets really hot, it will fall off, or if it's on the bottom of the cab and it gets really hot, it'll start to smell like asphalt in there. And you know, I just decided we'd spend a little bit extra in order to make it to where that's not going to be an issue. And this stuff is meant to sound in and insulate your truck or car. Anyway, um, I felt like we had a pretty good experience with it. it. And what we did and what you'll see in the video in order to fill in some of the cracks in between different pieces, we got some aluminum tape to fill in the cracks. Now, did I really care about this? Not really. My dad, he's, my, my dad is a perfectionist when it comes to this kind of stuff, so he wanted to make it look nice even though nobody's ever going to see it because it's going to be covered with carpet, but I, I guess I get his point. Now, one other thing I wanted to say about this sound deadener, and for a lot of you guys out there who have rust issues in your cab, I think this is also a great thing because here's the thing. Did I seal everything up? Absolutely. I sealed, you know, I went back and sealed everything up in the cab and uh, cleaned everything up. But just in the case that there could even possibly be a pinhole where water would get through, this stuff should stop it. It's almost got like a rubber. It, it, it is kind of like asphalt. I'm thinking that this will help to alleviate any problems with water potentially getting up under there and getting up underneath the carpet and us having issues. So that's another plus to sound deadening and insulating the bottom of your cab. Another thing that we went ahead and did is we went ahead and replaced the seals and gaskets for the steering column to the firewall and also for the air vents running across the driver and passenger side on the bottom. So, but anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and roll some footage of us installing all of this insulation just to give you guys an idea of how we did it. And I think it turned out really great. It really covered up a lot of the issues I had cosmetically with the bottom. Not that anybody was ever going to see it by the time you get carpet in there, but it looks a hundred times better and it kind of gives it that show quality look. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Something else I want to show you guys, like the rest of this cab, there's really, really bad rust in the back corners of it. It's like water got in the very back of the cab, so there's little seams where water can get through. So what I did is I went ahead and sealed that up with the same sealer that we used on the patch panels. And then I cut out some pieces of chrome aluminum and riveted it to the back and sealed it up from behind as well. And then I went ahead and filled all the pinholes in on the bottom with that sealant. And then I sprayed on the inside a rubber coating 
to try and make sure that there's no moisture that's going to get back up in there. So I'll go ahead and show you guys that as well. All right, guys, so that pretty much does it for us today. I, like I said, I think it turned out awesome. I think everything looks great. I might even end up installing some of it in the back and maybe on the roof if we get a headliner. I'm really not sure yet, but overall, I'm really happy with the product. We only bought one kit of this stuff, and I think it was like 36 square feet, and it covered plenty of the truck. So for those of you guys who want to do a single cab, I, I think that just getting one of these for you know, 60, 70, 80 bucks or whatever we bought it for would be plenty for your truck. But I hope to have a video up for you guys next week showing you guys some of the progress we made. And uh, yeah, anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like what you see so far, hit that subscribe button. Give us a like, and I'll see you guys next week.